assalamu alaikum my name is sarish and i am going to start my presentation with the topic of biotechnology and ethics first of all biotech ethics in the 17th century the philosophers francis bacon and rene descartes advocated a new way of doing science that would have the power to conquer nature for human benefit the old science had seemed to be more concerned with contemplating nature than controlling it in the contemporary world biotechnology is providing the technology for controlling and changing living nature including human nature however because biotechnological power over the living world offer not only the promise for doing good but also an opportunity for doing evil next one is for tees biotechnology Biotechnology can be defined as the technical manipulation of living organisms or parts of those organisms to provide products and services to satisfy human desires. If it is defined in a broad way, we can see that biotechnology has been employed throughout human history. History of biotechnology. The history of biotechnology can be divided into three periods: ancient, modern, and contemporary. In each period one can see the power of humans have acquired to manipulate nature but one can also see the natural limits of power which is constrained by the natural potentialities available in wild plants and animals and the natural complexities of behavioral traits in the living world now the first one is ancient biotechnology ancient biotechnology began when human beings started to domesticate plants and animals for human use throughout most of the history of the human species human beings feed themselves by gathering wild plants and hunting wild animals then some people in a few parts of the world began to produce food by cultivating domesticated plants and hunting domesticated animals next one is modern biotechnology modern biotechnology arose in the 19th century as growing knowledge in the biological services was applied to the technological manipulation of the living world for human purposes for example louis pasteur's a microbiological explanation of fermentation as resulting from the activity of microscopic organisms allowed improvements in the brewing of beer and other industries that depend on using the fermentation by yeast to produce food and beverages contemporary biotechnology the contemporary biotechnology that began in the last half of the 20th century arose from a deeper knowledge of genetics and molecular biology and has provided humans with great power over the living world even so contemporary biotechnology is limited in its technical means by the physical and chemical limits of nature what are ethics the act of finding what is morally right or wrong this is specifically important in the applications of biotechnology as the letter deals with many serious issues concerned with human nature health food and the environment now there are some ethical aspects of gm food unnaturalness environmental risk and health risks the first one is unnaturalness the gm food crops are associated with sense of unnaturalness it is wrong in itself to alter the essence of species or to interfere with the natural order environmental risk genes can flow from modified plants to wild plants leading to potential threat in biodiversity health risk gm foods should be properly labeled to allow people to choose whether to consume or not to consume gm ethical issues in genetically food crops here are some sets of ethical concerns that have been raised to be about gm crops potential harm to human health potential damage to the environment negative impact on traditional farming practice excessive corporate dominance and the unnaturalness of the technology examples of gm crops include corn varieties containing a gene for a bacteria pesticides that kills larva pests and soybeans with an inserted gene that renders them resistant to weed killers such as roundup there are some other ethical issues despite its many benefits 
biotechnology has provoked ethical controversy in six areas of moral concerns such as safety liberty justice environmental nature human nature and religious beliefs first one is safety safety is a moral concern for human opponents of biotechnology who worry that its power disrupts the complex balance in nature in ways that are likely to be harmful Individuals such as Jeremy K. Rifkin and groups such as Greenpeace have warned that genetically modified crops and foods could endanger human health, as well as the health of the environment. Critics of medical biotechnology fear that biotechnology medicines alter the human body. and mind in the radical ways that could produce harmful consequences perhaps far into the future in ways that are hard to foresee next one is liberty liberty is a moral concern for those who fear that biotechnology will give some people tyrannical power over others the history of eugenics in which governments used korean to eliminate those just to be by logically unfit illustrate the danger of encroachments on liberty libertarian proponents of biotechnology such as humanitarian virginia poster insist that there should be no threat to liberty as long as the biotechnology is chosen freely by individuals in a free market economy but conversation such as lewin cars worry that people could be coerced informally by social pressure employers and the insurance companies so that they will feel compelled to adopt biotechnology products and procedures justice justice is a moral concern for people who anticipate that biotechnology will be so expensive that only the richest individuals will benefit from it so that the rich will have an unjust advantage over the poor even the proponents of biotechnology such as lisero worry that the reproductive biotechnology eventually could divide humanity into two separate species based on the wealth or poverty of their ancestors the gen rich and the gen poor the gen rich who would be genetically designed to be superior and the gen poor who would be left behind as biologically inferior being of course in some ways This problem is not unique to biotechnology because rich people always have been unfair advantages over the poor but the libertarian defenders of biotechnology foresee that in a free market society prices for biotechnology products and services eventually will decline last one is human nature human nature is a moral concern for anyone who fears that biotechnology could change or even abolish human nature Thank you. Thank you.